in the Bengals locker room with Thaddeus Moss. Uh, Thad, how's uh, camp going so far? I know it's early. It's early. How's it going? It's going good. Um, you know, day one, just getting back in the flow of things, getting back around the guys, building the chemistry back up. Um, camp's going good, though. Camp's going good. Uh, you know, ready to get things going. Like I said, it's early. It's day one. Uh, just trying to build, you know, just build day after day and, you know, take it from there, go from there. How's your health right now? Obviously, health the past couple of years has been an issue. How you feeling? Definitely. I feel good. I feel good. Uh, about as good as I can feel day one of camp right now. Um, you know, just trying to keep that a thing. Um, yeah, health has big a bit has been a big thing for me. Um, kind of been snake bitten things and it really haven't really gone my way. Um, you know, but you know, I kind of got some things figured out. I know what to do, what not to do. Um, you know, listen to my body a little bit more, and you know, everything's a learning process. Just taking things in stride and learning from it, and moving forward. How important is it to be in the same place for a second consecutive year? Does that matter at all? Just uh, the familiarity? Nah, definitely. I mean, it's already hard enough to to learn a playbook, especially an NFL playbook. Book, um, you know, and that's that's just for the offense. But learning the special teams, learning the playbook, that's already hard. Um, so being able to be here for a second year, it means a lot. You know, I can <clears throat> I can tune up on the, the little things. You know, lock in on the details. Um, you know, lock in on the details. And I'm finally comfortable. I can play comfortable. I'm not out there. You know, because last year was essentially a rookie year for me. I didn't play my first year. Mm-hmm. So, you know, also learning a new playbook and getting adjusted to the NFL. You know, that was kind of difficult. So now I can just you know the game slows down a whole lot right now more confident in a competition obviously you're battling for that that third tight end yep, spot, yep definitely like. definitely more confident definitely more confident um like i said just when when, when you take out all of the thinking of playing when you're just out there just playing and it's just just flowing and coming naturally that's when you play your best ball you can't it's hard to play football especially on this level when you're thinking <laughs> so now that i'm you know this is my second year here you know i've heard the install four times you know i've gone <laughs> through the install four times now so you know i'm very confident in knowing it i know what You know, I know what we're looking for. I know what the coaches are looking for. Uh, Special teams, you know, I didn't really do a whole lot of special teams in college, you know, so I have a whole year of that under my belt. I know what the coach wants. Um, And I know the expectations. I know the expectations of what the NFL is like, what the preseason like, what the game's like, the speed of the game, everything, the the, the little details and stuff. So just definitely confident going into this year. Yeah, the special teams part is probably huge. You know, the third tight end is going to play a a bunch of special teams in general. So getting those reps, is that as valuable as even the offensive reps? It is. Um, knowing the, the the position I'm in, um, you know, obviously I would I would I would like I would like to I strive for more for myself. Sure. Um, you know, I would I would I strive for more for myself. You know, but I know it's a process. You know, I know being on having gone undrafted and things haven't gone that way. That you know, it's a situation that I'm in. You know, and I look forward to it. I, I you know just um, like I said, it's a situation I'm in. But uh, definitely, special teams reps are just as important as the you know offensive reps for me right now in the position that I'm in. Knowing a tight end three is going to be really big on special teams and that's one thing I think I could have done a little bit better last year Uh, I think I put too much of an emphasis on offense you know through camp and through preseason and I'm not gonna say I didn't put as big as an emphasis on special teams but I was just more conscious of offense so now kind of flipping it you know kind of flipping it really homing in on 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 the things that's gonna they're looking for for tight end three how's the dynamic in that tight end room you lose CJ Hayden Hurst comes in former first round Mm-hmm. Obviously, you're familiar with Drew. Yeah. So how, how is that? It's good. It's good. Um, like you said, we lost CJ. Uh, Hayden came in. Great guy. Great teammate. You know, is all for really open, really open. Um, you know, always talking, very friendly. You know, down to help with anything. Tidy room's great, though. You know, James Casey's a, a great coach. Great coach. Great off the field coach. Great on the field coach. Very fresh. You know, he's a very he played tight end. He played our position. And he and he just you know it wasn't too long ago when he played, when he had a helmet on, so he understands the nuances of you know, what it takes to be a tight end and, uh, you know, I love a tight end tight end room, I love a tight end room, from from Drew to to Hayden, to Mitch, to, you know, Casey, it's it's a good tight end room. And then, last thing for me, I think uh, your relationship with Joe Burrow, obviously you guys are good friends, what was it like finding out, I'm pretty sure you were surprised, I think everybody was surprised this week, what's it been like with with Joe? I know it's nothing super serious, but it's still something. Um, it was a surprise. I mean, we got out of the meeting, and me and Jamar both kind of looked at each other and was like, did you know? And neither of us knew. Um, you know, so it was a surprise. But the thing about Joe, man, Joe's tough. Joe's, I mean, everybody knows that Joe's tough as 
hell. So, um, you know, it was a little bit of a surprise. He'll be all right. You know, everything went good. Surgery went well. Um, you know, and I know if he could be, if he could be in here right now, he'd be in here right now. So, I mean, I know he's, he'll, he'll be here when he needs to be here. So, um, yeah. Have you talked to him since? Yeah, since yeah. I mean, I sent yeah. him, a, I sent him a text. Um, I don't want to really dive into the relationship, but it's. Uh, I sent him a text, and you know he responded. We we had a short conversation. Everything's good. Went well. Um, you know he's in good spirits, feeling good. He'll, he'll be here in a little bit. Dad, appreciate the time. Good luck with the rest of the camp. Definitely appreciate it.